Hey guys, what's up? And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Swift packages and start uh, writing a Swift code right inside the uh, Linux distribution. So, uh, I recommend you to install, you can try it on Linux Ubuntu. So, make sure that the running version of Ubuntu will be higher than 14, and uh, you can try it on any other Linux distribution too. So, alright, first of all, go ahead and uh, open your favorite browser and go to the swift.org. Once you go to the swift.org at the left side, you can see the download button. Click on that, and then you will gonna see the available versions. By the time of the recording of this video, the Swift 2.2.1 is available. So go ahead and download the Ubuntu version. Once you download the version, so my in my case, it's downloaded into the download section, and then there you go. The file looks like this, and it ends with a dot r dot zz. So then go ahead and double click on it and extract it. So they extract the folder right inside the home directory, which is a very preferable thing in my point of view. So go ahead and select the home directory and then click on extract. Once you click on extract, there you go. The files has been successfully extracted and then quit that one. Then go to the home directory. So once you see, go to the home directory. There you go. The Swift folder is successfully extracted. So if you open that, there inside you are gonna see the user uh, profile as well as the there you go the binary folder. So these are this is the important thing, uh, and uh, you can see all of the files that is required to run the Swift. So there you go. This is the main file that we are using, and then go ahead and right click on that file, and then go to the properties. And then you're gonna have to copy this location address because we have to add this location address to the uh, system environment variables so that we can access it anywhere by typing a Swift using a terminal. So after that, what you're gonna do is go ahead and open the uh, terminal. So by holding the Control Alt T and then type this command. So sudo and gedit uh, slash etc slash bash dash bash rc. So uh, you can also check the command in the description box too. So once you type this command, press enter. So it's going to be ask you to type the password. Type the password that you used to log in on your computer. Then it will going to be open that file with a gedit. Come to the uh, bottom of the page, and then here we need to add the uh, uh, location path to the system environment variable. So starting with the capital letters P A T H path, and then paste your location. Then after that location, uh, type a uh, colon and then uh, type a dollar symbol and then path in capital letters. So this is actually, uh, we are telling the computer, so the Swift packages is in this location so that whenever we type the Swift inside the terminal, it will gonna be start running. So that's it after you type uh, the path and then go ahead, close this one and then it's gonna be prompt you. Do you want to save the changes? Then go ahead, click on the save changes. So once you click on save changes, go ahead, close that, and then also exit the uh, terminal too. Then after that, go ahead and open the terminal, a brand new window, then type a swift dash dash version. So if you type this command and then press enter, so you will be see the Swift version installed on your computer. So if you don't see this, and you will see some errors, that means your location is not exactly added into the system environment variables. Please check the location again. And then now if you want to write, start writing the Swift code, type the uh, Swift and then press enter. So now when you press enter, the Swift will gonna be launched uh, using the REPL environment, which stands for read, evaluate, print and loop which is exactly the same like a playgrounds in Xcode so this REPL environment uh, used to ask the questions it will gonna be give the immediate reply so for example if you type the uh, 4 plus 3 and it will say a 7 you can also ask the very complex mathematical problems and in this case it shows an error so it will gonna be allow you to create a variables and you can also check the condition whether the variable uh, that you're checking is it true or not you can do whatever you want and that means whatever you type the value will be immediately uh, gonna be uh, printed out that's why it says read evaluate print loop so we can also do many things. If you want to quit the entire the uh, REPL mode, use a colon and Q, then it will gonna be exit the REPL environment. So if you want to have more commands to know, type colon help and it can be show you all the information. That's how we can write the uh, Swift programming language on a Linux Ubuntu. I hope you like this video. If you really like this, please give a big thumbs up button down there. Don't forget to